it is time for S2E2 of I'm Alan Partridge. Is that what it's what we're on right now? I believe so. Time is different here. Let me just double check. S2E2, I'm Alan Partridge. That painted the, co man. the color of Alan. Color of Alan. That's what it's called. I usually have to pull it up, but we're fighting back against that whole lag thing by yes. finding. Uh, we actually found something to download the episodes from Daily Motion now, so I don't have it in front of me now. And we may knock on wood. No which ads. Is a, which is a big headache relief for Spence. It makes it so I don't have, don't feel like pulling my hair out. <laughs> so yes, winning. I'm, I'm already winning. stressed enough as it is. I don't need more stress. Yeah. Yeah. All right, let's You're get into ready? this train wreck. Yeah. Let's do it. Three, two, one. That was Roxanne by the police, or as they're now known, Sting. Song there about a prostitute. Doesn't say what her surname is. I must give her a call sometime. <laughs> uh, although the effects of 23 years on the game would not render her pleasurable to my eye. Albums, <laughs> 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 mm. <laughs> funny stories. <laughs> uh, just have a one quick funny story before the news on line four we have roy from bungie hello roy hello funny story what is it i sold this makita cordless power drill in the local paper and then six months later i received the very same one back as a christmas present from my brother-in-law minus the power pack i see so you uh you the present you gave away you then got back that's it goodbye what a funny story Alan's got funny stories that was a funny story uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, I wonder who got the power pack. News. Uh, that's <laughs> filling dead air to a T yeah, right there. That's what it is. That's God tier right there. We're like, yeah. what, what are they going to, what is it going to sound like? Doesn't matter. We got to fill it with something. As <laughs> per our contract. Uh, like, God, we got to <laughs> fill it. <laughs> yeah, stories. Alan's got funny stories. I love his soundboard. Cordy, I love it. Yeah. Oh man! And for that fifteen seconds, was there nothing <laughs> down there that he could I, hit? I would just be hitting buttons. I would just <laughs> technical glitch and just start hitting buttons everywhere. But at least he got to the news. Whew. How can you set fire to your hands? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> oh, hello, Carl. It's a lot of room in here. It's nice to be able to sort of jog around, excuse me. Jog around this place. It's good, it's good. I'm in quite a good mood today because I just found out my, uh, my wife's been struck off my life insurance. <laughs> Spice World. Wait, yeah, are you married? Yeah. Yeah. Divorced. Yeah. I've got access to the kids, but they don't want to see me. <laughs> I jump. Well, yeah, we've uh, created the floor. No bodies underneath there, I hope. <laughs> what? I'm just joshing with you. Have you booked a corpse under the patio? <laughs> Oh my god. I expect god. you get that all the time. Not really. Actually, that skirting board does seem a bit too low. Could you change it again? Oh, oh shit. You've worked construction before. That's pretty yeah. a, a sensible reaction. Yeah. It's very mild. I, I just, that's so annoying. That's so annoying. Guys, if you ever have any kind of contractors come in to your house to do work, don't yeah. hover around them. Just, and if you don't trust them, don't hire them. Mm -hmm. If you don't trust anyone in your house, don't hire them. But yes. It's just God. Don't be over them. What that does is it makes the the contractor nervous. And guess what happens with nervous contractors? They make mistakes, and it starts it snowballing. Sense. That makes sense. And if you if you're the type to hover, why don't you just do it yourself? That's pretty much what you want anyway. Or learn, learn. Yeah. Hey man, <laughs> I'll dock. I'll actually add some money to your pocket if you can teach me. And then I bet they would be like, "Oh, this is different." But I'm getting more money, so all right, let's do it. Why not? You could have made a killing with yes. uh, with teaching carpentry and all that stuff, right? Oh, yeah. That would have been it. But this is a lot easier, right? Oh, I love yeah. this. This is, yeah. I, I will never, as long as I live, I will do whatever it takes not to swing hammers again. A negative comment is a lot better than a uh, hovering client, right? One million percent. Amen. He happily thinks I'm a right indecisive tit. I don't think he likes it when you do that accent. Well, well I'll, I'll stop then. Can you not put your foot on? I'm just going to do a cockney walk. <laughs> right. Hello. Actually, I've got some good news because I've just come into a rather substantial amount of money because I'm going to host a sales conference for Dante's of Reading, the Ferrari of the coal effect gas fireplace industry. And if this job comes off, then 
As regards decision-making, I think we'll be in a can-do-go situation. <laughs> I won't bore you with the details. Right. Hands off your cocks on your... That's like perfect response to I won't bore you with the details. Yeah, that's when perfect. you get out. You just dip. Perfect. Oh man. Another <laughs> social tool in our arsenal now. Yeah, I won't bore you with the details. All right, fair enough. Thank you. And then just turn around and go. God, man. Here comes Jordy boy. God. <laughs> it just sucks. Oh. Sorry, oh. <laughs> right, that's just an army saying. Give us another one, Michael. Stop <laughs> twist kill. <laughs> Michael's going to be staying here for a bit till they put his front door back on. <laughs> Welcome aboard the good ship. My house. Do you want to tell Michael there's no smoking in the house? Uh, th th there's actually no smoking in the house. Do you want to tell her whose house it is? It it's my house. You've got all to see it. You can see it from your face. It's a matter of hygiene. Oh, hey. Fuck <laughs> off. Seconds out. Round one. Ding, ding. I'd never let that happen. He'd batter you. <laughs> Come on. Tell me what you've got. Well, we've got your book signing at 12 o'clock. And you're meeting at Choristers with Pete Moran from Dante Fires. Mary Poppins, what's that? <laughs> well, that? Hey, that's me bike. That's Desert Storm. So the Iraqis must have been petrified when they saw it coming over the horizon. Especially if it had one of those cigarette cards in the spokes, so it went... Why don't you two bury the hatchet over a machine coffee? After you, Lynn. Probably me next. Lynn, I need to speak to you about something. Sonia has made me this. It's a mug with my face on one side and a cat on the other. What does it mean? I don't know. I've no idea. And I think she's planning something much worse. She's talking about selling this stuff down at the covered market. It's terrible. It's a disaster. I don't want my face on, on this. I want it on this. And I might put it on a, on a jar of pasta. I'd buy it. Oh, I'd buy right now, yes. I would yeah. totally buy it. But then, if he... If it's not as a gag gift, I don't want it. You know what I mean? Uh -huh. I would love that, but I wonder if they, they're selling that on the Alan Partridge merch store. Somebody please link it down below. <laughs> that would be awesome. <laughs> and your Patreon links go no matter what, and YouTube, it's one of the ones I'll actually look in the <laughs> filter section. Just let me know, and I will. I will be on it. I will be on that thing. I need that <laughs> mug. Just imagine. I'm sorry. <laughs> <It's> just... <laughs> Fucking cat and a dude's face. What? Yeah. Or a jar uh, of pasta sauce. A jar of pasta sauce. What the fuck? Oh. All right. Did you hear back from Dolmeo about my pasta gravy sauce? No. Let it go. Hey, do you fancy a cup of delicious microwavable soup? Hey, you just pop, pop it in the microwave. Hey, Michael, can you imagine if they had uh, microwaves in medieval times? There's a giant microwave. You just pop a witch in it. Right. Horrific. <laughs> if she bursts, she's innocent. And if she comes out looking normal, but cold on the outside and hot in the middle, she's a witch. <laughs> Let's remember to take the foil off first. You know, that's just pies. Do you mind me watching Quiro on UK Gold? As long as you pop the earphones on. Oh, you have. Look at her. Dead to the world. She's sitting in the exact spot where me and Sonia have it off. <laughs> so uh, you're still uh, doing it twice a day? Diary permitting. Yeah, but you didn't give yourself a heart attack. No, it's actually quite good for you. It's good for you. It's, it's cardiovascular exercise. Because if you think about it, it's just like press-ups, isn't it? I suppose because you sort of work in the major muscle groups. <laughs> that is a woman. <laughs> well, it looks like long, long hair. Could be Brian May. <laughs> I don't know if that's not his cup of tea. Mm. Uh, That's the other one. God rest his soul. Actually, I've got a book signing to do later. I've got to pop up to Choristers and get the PA. Oh, right. They haven't lost it. The security's terrible. Probably even let some like you in. That's ridiculous. I know, and the person who stole your front door. <laughs> oh, there's Sonia talking to the builders, Lee. Oh, God. You just take normal... F oh, my God. Uh, anything I was going to say about Jordy Boy's uh, demonstration... It's a lot worse. Don't you dare subject... The innocent contractors to this. How yeah. dare you? I've already had enough, man. Oh, man, I would leave. I would not go back to that job site. Like, no, <laughs> this is not me. You call up Tackle Box. Hey, take this job. I, I, I can't do it. Oh, uh, my God. Photograph into Snappy Snaps, and he put the photo on cushion. And this cushion is called Scatter Cushion. It's brilliant. I call it the Scatter Love Cushion because it represents my love for Ellen. You could sit on his face. What do you mean? You could sit on Alan's face. You know, it's, it's a joke. It's a very filthy joke. <laughs> <laughs> That's English for stop a horse. She's been very disgusting. 
What did he say? He said, I sit on your face. <laughs> Have you been spying on us? Sonia, I'll handle this. Go and sit in the static home. Sorry about that. <laughs> I love that. That's a boss move right there. I'm going to talk to them about this. Sorry, guys. <clears throat> oh, man. <laughs> I have stuff I want to say about what Alan said, but I'm not going to. Oh, my God, dude. <laughs> Just so bad. Oh, God. Anyway. <laughs> You've been spying on us? <laughs> Fuck. Uh, oh. I have stuff I want to say, but I want to keep it clean here. Very true. <laughs> we're, we're totally clean here. <laughs> it's too dirty even for Patreon. True. Let's see where he's going. Hello, I'm a communist with a gun. Uh, I hate you lot. I've just thrown the royal family out of a plane. Can I use your toilet? Utter, utter, utter. <laughs> wow. High level security Hello, there. Hello, commuters with your computers. What would fit ideally into uh, an attaché case or the thigh pockets of a pair of fashionable combat trousers? Uh, not like those massive Stephen King books. They should be on wheels, shouldn't they? Yeah, it's embarrassing, idiot. <laughs> For £10, you get a very good book and a free torch, a Danko nightstick, as used in futuristic series The X-Files. There's a demonstration model tied to the chair with a skipping rope by that woman. <laughs> what is it you want? Right. Train for lower stopped is on platform four. Oh, my God. Uh, leaves in five minutes, so uh, learn to jog again quickly. <laughs> no, seriously, Ron, you will miss it. <laughs> I hate that when you're like, somewhere and like come uh, to me during gigs in restaurants or if i'm out busking somewhere once or twice where someone will like for directions i'm like fuck if i know i'm yeah. kind of doing the job i love that or it's like you ever go to target with the red shirt yeah, yeah. never do that it, yeah then you can't really play it off but that's it crazy i couldn't even imagine that you're playing a a freaking a gig and someone's just like hey do you know and it's just like do you not see i'm not part of the system lady and some of our probably uh, also left me in comments. Uh, just that's the type of person I associate with got those it. who those are just not all, all there. Just kind of with like their faces. You know what I mean? Yeah. Percent. I get yeah. that. Yeah. Book is a top business aid, as I'm sure you are, sir. Look at that. Not even listening. Off to London, no doubt. Go to London. I guarantee you'll either be mugged or not appreciated. <laughs> Catch the train to London, stopping at Rejection, Backstabbing Central, and Shattered Dreams Parkway. Alan, there. What? It's Pete Morant from Dantec Fires. He, he just got off the train. Come on, see me. Why not? To the untrained eye, this could look like it's rubbish and I haven't bounced back. But you have. I know. <laughs> Turn your mic off. Yeah, it's the mic off. Got him. Hi. I'm Alan Parsley. Uh, yeah, yeah. You don't mind if I just do that like that. Uh, not at all. Uh, I wasn't expecting for you to come and meet me at the station. Yeah, about the smell of urine, but uh, you know, there's nothing to do around here. <laughs> but with a patch, it, it is a one-stop shop. Why is this, does he still have his microphone on? It's apparently that's a downfall of many a person. Take the mic off. Yeah. All yeah. the time. Like, we're done with all this, right? I slide the camera cover on the camera and I unplug the mic. Yeah, way to I'm, do it. Because I never know. Not, I'm not like, they're watching. Like I don't give a shit. They're already watching. doesn't matter. But I don't want this shit to stay on because I had one night where it was on. The red light was on. It wasn't looking at nothing, but it was on. I came down the next morning. It was on. I'm like, weird. Oh, man. The app was closed. Everything was closed. Nothing was using that. Oh my God! So it, it reminds me of with the Greg Davies story. Um, was a teacher and like he's <laughs> having stomach trouble and he still had his microphone on while yeah. he was taking care yeah. of business. Exactly. I'm terrified of that. That's like phobia of mine. Oh yeah. Like oh God. Anyway, just take the fucking thing off. Always. What part of Birmingham are you from? No, Ellen. I'm actually from South Africa. Oh yes, of course. I should exist. <laughs> This is a bit of a laugh. Here is a card, yeah? Hello, sir. I am an arsonist with a big box of matches. Please can I come in to set fire to the staff? Unbelievable. It's quite good. Yeah, it's ridiculous. I mean, they know who I am, you know, be a sex offender. All oh, oh, right, yes, you've come to use the excellent facilities, but you're still a sex offender. But I'm not a sex offender. It's all right, they won't ask you about it. But I'm not a sex offender. Great, right, that's something we've got in common. But uh, no, the security is terrible here. I mean, I booked the room under the name of the real IRA. They didn't bat an eyelid. 
I'll just go and tell them it's me. <laughs> We've got to get out of here. What's the problem? Cross wires. Well, uh, should we go to Apache? What, my house? There's no electricity. Well, you know, I'd like to see the setup. Yes, we'll go straight to Apache after a pub lunch for an hour. Well, Alan, there's some really nice houses around here. Yeah, actually, it's a bit of a building site. I mean, it should have a hat hard on. What am I saying? I mean, hard on. Got it again! <laughs> How hard is it to say hard hat? On. Mm, yeah, a hard hard on. I don't know. I've heard it both ways. <laughs> All right, guys, you got your hard on hat on? What? What? Hey, I want to go restart my day. I'll see you on Friday. God. <laughs> Those oh. are your tackle box days, yeah. right? <laughs> yep. Like, jobs are not. <laughs> the day hasn't started unless everyone's got their hard ons on. <laughs> That's how you know it's a safe, responsible job site. <laughs> Were they building a big uh, dick that day? <laughs> pretty much. Much, <laughs> man. Oh, God. Oh, you can't take us nowhere. Oh, man. Hello. How do you do? How nice to meet you. How do you do? <laughs> this is Michael. It's a very unusual accent you've got there. Where are you from? Oh, I'm originally from Newcastle Lake. Michael's in charge of our uh, internet computer. Hi. Uh, there's knee porn on it. Did you understand that? No. Good. This is Len. Close your mouth, Len. Um, well, should we move through to what is clearly the conference area? So, this is Apache Communications. Yeah, yeah. I have three clocks on the wall there, telling the time in London, Paris and Dublin. Which is the same as London, but I do think sometimes you need to be reminded of that. Yeah, I'm dying to hear your ideas for the fireplace conference, Alan. Uh, uh, grab a sofa. Right. Just over here? Sure, yeah. Let me tell you a bit about the setup here. You can't use the toilet because it's blocked. <laughs> yeah, you see, at Apache, we way. Sorry, yeah. So there's a new table, it's not quite finished. Do you want to pop this on? Oh, no, it's hiding a handle. <laughs> oh, God, I love what the this hell? man. He is awesome. He is the, 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 the level of just making a lot with nothing. Yeah. It just <laughs> door. <laughs> oh, the bathroom door. Anyway. Uh, wow. Yeah. yeah. Designer has gone for that uh, toilet door balanced on a black and decker workmate effect. <laughs> oh my god. Ellen, I can't yeah, see no, you. That's fine. No problem. I'll just uh, hop up here. Caravan there. Who's is it? The, the builders live in there. Yeah. Len sometimes goes in there. I don't think there's anything going on. Yeah. I told her I disapprove of uh, workplace relationships, but uh, shit happens. <laughs> Funny man falls backwards. It's the cheapest joke in the book. Right. Of course, it's it. gonna laugh. We're gonna laugh at that. Oh God, of course. It's just the old classic. Mm -hmm. It's the old classic, man. Yep. <laughs> I like this time of evening when the magic gets quite bad. Yeah. In. Three, two, one, land. So, uh, shall we start, Ellen? Yes. Now, the main thing, thank you. The main thing is we need something quite quick. Now, as we always say at Dente Fires, what is the burning issue? <laughs> That's good, that burning issue fireplaces, I like it. So, uh, what we want to do is we want to give our sales force something inspirational. <laughs> what are you laughing yeah, at? I'm just still laughing at the uh, the burning issue thing. Very, very good joke. Flash down. Put it in the middle. That would be tremendously helpful. OK. <laughs> should we put the lights on or should we, should we wait 15 minutes? Never mind that, Alan. All I want to know is can you give us a pyrotechnics and light show? Absolutely. We can do you pyrotechnics. Um, I recommend you start with a couple of humorous comments, uh, a couple of jokes, perhaps. We don't want a clown, Alan. Oh, God, no, no, you're not a clown. No, no, when you get to the podium with those long shoes on. <laughs> Actually, how do clowns go down in South Africa? You know, because with all that makeup on, they're neither one thing nor the other. Are they allowed on buses? Oh! Look, Alan. No clowns, gags. Just, just a couple of jokes? No, Alan, no. Please. No, you can't! Well, there's no need for that. I want to a couple of jokes. You can't! You've done it again! You've said it again! Just because I've got a shit table, what do you want? I want you to turn the lights on. Good call. Michael! Hi. Oh, you're there. Sorry. Um, shall we put the lights oh, on? Hang on. Why'd your heat come and do it? Yeah. 
difficult. Yeah, it, it uh, <laughs> looked to me like uh, torches attached to a bicycle wheel. <laughs> Same person who did the table. <laughs> yeah. I like South Africa, and I hated those people who wouldn't trade with you in the 80s. Yeah, I, I carried on tomatoes all through that period. You say tomato, I say potato, you say well, the whole thing. A thoroughly nice chap and uh, doesn't matter what the race is. Oh, my God. Uh, I absolutely love this. Just because of the whole deck commercial, New Zealand deck commercial thing. <laughs> <laughs> he, was like, he was can't, but in his accent, sounded like he was calling him the C word. Uh. And I was like, oh, shit. Oh, uh, my God. Oh, man. It's okay. all right. It's all right. We'll it's... make sure. We'll make sure New Zealand deck video is out <clears throat> before this one is on YouTube. Oh, my so God, are... dude. <laughs> okay. Wow. Alan is just, you know what? There's no filter. And that's why I love him. Mm -hmm. He's just, he's like a human gas station. Yeah. Yeah. Pretty much. And I yeah, he's a fire starter. Yeah, way before the prodigy was. <laughs> yeah. God. When? Yes. Oh, you're there. Um, <laughs> I, I don't think this is right enough. I think we're going to have to go nuclear. Look, Alan, it's too late to cancel. <laughs> okay. I'm sorry. No, I'm sorry. It's, it's easily done. If you can be angry, if you, you don't mind being angry down the centre of the table. <laughs> so when this meeting's over, I'm taking this table back. It's bloody useless. <laughs> you hit the hazards! If I said full beam once, I must have said it a dozen times. <laughs> Level with me, Pete. <laughs> have I got this job? Given uh, that it's too late to book anyone else, the answer has to be yes. Jack and Akinori. <laughs> ah, that's better. Full beam. The ones are like four glitter explosions, 12 puff flashes, and, yeah, so the sequence would be puff flash, puff flash, bang. <laughs> you know, we'll basically have a condensed... Pink Floyd concert for five hundred pounds. <laughs> yes. Okay. Thanks, Len. You want to eat? What have we got? We got eggs. We got chicken. Which came first? Well, I just buy the chicken on Thursday. Yeah, yeah. Chicken's fine. <laughs> what do you mean? The chicken is empty. What do you mean it's empty? It's hollow. No, where, where is the chicken inside? Well, you the didn't chicken? buy. You didn't buy this. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so do you want the giblets? Yeah, giblets. The yeah, giblets are that. awful. You them? might eat them in your country, sweetheart. We don't hear. <laughs> you know, you don't want to eat an intestine or a chicken heart on, on, a, on a sort of voodoo canapé. You want to make love? The bed's ready. <laughs> no, I'm fine, thanks. Just go and check on Michael. Okay. Ellen, I love you. Thanks a lot. Hello, Michael. God, they're a mess. <sighs> he, mm, he would get, get stuck with... Yeah. Oh, God, I, I'm not jealous. Me neither. Doesn't... Yeah, yeah. Well, y'all know. Are you on your own? Oh, no. No, fine. It's nice to have a company, you know? Keep the demons at bay. Just thinking, actually, you can imagine if, if we were the last two people on Earth camped out up here. Cool, oh, yeah. Hey, we'd, we'd have to breed. I think I prefer to adopt. <laughs> Men can these days. Right. Yeah. I'd, I'd adopt a greyhound. Because the, the last one I, was right clever, you know? Yeah, they were that cl thing that they chase after isn't a rabbit. Mind you, know if this uh, fireplace conference guns well, you could get yourself a helicopter. Yeah, I'd love to fly a helicopter. Not about it, Michael. The world's getting smaller. Ah, that's global warming. No, no that's different. Oh. I'd just like to fly a helicopter all round Norfolk, yeah. you know, swoop down over a donkey so it falls into a river, <laughs> and hover over one of those annoying families that go on holiday on bikes. Right. You know, yeah. <laughs> and shout at them, out of the area, and watch them panic. <laughs> Me? I'd, I'd, I'd have a, an helicopter. Oh, great. I'd get back to school. First, I'd take out the labs, and then I'd type into the attack computer, Mr. Crag, chemistry teacher. Blown no. to bits. Oh, yeah. I know the feeling. And then I'd look for Tom Donaldson. I'd be hovering, just doing the road from his house, eh? And he'd see it, but I'd duck down behind the trees, and he thinks he's safe, right? And he's just about to put the key in his front door, and I come up from behind the hedge. Hello, you bastard. He panics, right? And he guns in the house. So I get the 30 millimeter cannon and I take out the fish pond. <laughs> Koi carp in there. <laughs> and then I just tilt the helicopter over to one side. <laughs> Machine gun bullets is chewing up the drive, right? He comes out. Oh no, not me try, I'm stag. I've just had it re-spread. I cut it right in half, right? And then he goes, ah! He runs up onto the garage roof. I say, right, this is for you, Tom. He goes, no, no. He's begging us, he's best mode. And then I fly off to Cornwall and I just smash into the sea in a big ball of flames. <laughs> Oh well, he's someone thought about that. Yeah, but say he's thought this through. 
has an answer to a very specific question. Good God. Michael uh, is dangerous. Yeah. You need him on your side. Yeah. He can make a, a go yeah. away. I'll tell you what, man. I'm missing the that that the hotel life. Missing the hotel ass of it. But mm -hmm. all right, cool. Eh. I'm I'm gonna just say something. House oh, never uh, gets built. Yeah, yeah. We're we're four and a half away from the end of this, and I think that's a pretty yeah. accurate prediction. Yeah. Sleep well, Michael. <laughs> um, who's pretty Tom much. Donaldson? Well, it's just it. <laughs> pretty much. Hello. I've just swallowed a load of anthrax, and I'd like to let off like mad in the club bar. Come in. You haven't opened the gate. Well done. Now, I've just remembered I've forgotten my card. Uh, I was showing it to a Gordy last night. Uh, he asked to hold it. I've gone and left it in his bloody hands. Oh, shit. Hello? Hello. Right, I think what's happened is I made a complaint about you and your pursuing a vendetta, which I can understand. Hello? Hello. Right, you, you do know who I am? No. Um, I've got it. There's, I, there's a copy of my book, Bouncing Back, behind reception. Can you see it? Uh, yeah. Right, great. Well, I'll rep of a stance. Okay, go on then. <laughs> oh my god. Dude, just Hello? give up. Can I help you? Yeah, yeah, it's, it's, it's Sean there. He just knocked off for the evening. Can I help you? Uh, no, no, it's fine. Fine, thank you. Oh no. Uh, Alan, what's you doing? Climbing over a fence. Oh, you should watch yourself. You're nearly 50. Were you going to say I was nearly 50 then? Might be nearly 50 then, but at least I can make a <laughs> little pierce my foot on a spike. <laughs> Oh my god! I just caught some bits of casualty now. Well, you don't fall at once. Then all the blood will run out the hole in my foot, you old mess. Pull your foot off now. Well, I'll leave it on the spike. Well, pull it off the spike. Oh, After sorry. three. No, I'm not going to do it then. You pull your foot off. Well, mine's not on the spike. Oh, oh. Someone coming. Be normal. Be normal. <laughs> Hello, Dante Fires. Just do that. Oh, you're going to have a good time. Just be normal. I can feel the blood squelching in my shoe. Oh my god. Of course. Of course. Uh, of course. I okay, cool. <laughs> this, this, by the way, is the first bit of that compilation we checked out like a year and a half ago that is coming back to my yep. mind. This, if we, if we have seen, we've seen another one. I, I, I don't remember it. Yeah, like, I don't remember it either. Oh. Only rem remember it because we tied, I titled it Spiked with Laps, like for this scene. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, it's squelchy. Yeah, it's listen, okay. listen, listen. Oh! Oh, look at you. What's in hospital? Some of these people have come from Stoke. Shall I go with you? Then, you couldn't present a cat. Right, sorry. Ah -ha! <laughs> <laughs> Let's see how he does. Yeah, I was, uh, I was about to say, is there heavy metal music <laughs> behind it? But now, it actually makes sense with the the scream and the blush yeah. that makes sense uh, now makes sense yep i like that yeah. i like that man oh uh, god it's been for dante fires maybe you're here tonight with a wife or an old flame but what is the burning issue hit your targets or you'll be fired but today is also about fun <laughs> have you all got your fun packs i've got one here i've got a list here it should contain a torch, a curly whirly, a book of stamps, a free digital watch with denim strap, a vodka miniature, a big style razor, and a copy of the Daily Express. Ooh, <laughs> it's a good paper. <laughs> now, first award tonight is for best Christ. Christ, uh, sorry, keeps Christ. Uh, some of you be religious, and to those people, I apologize. Oh my God, is he throwing up? He threw up! <laughs> I'm supposed to hit that later. I'll just wait for it to finish. A, a glittering year ahead. You want to read your Daily Express? <laughs> Don't throw that torch in my face, mate. I just lost a pint of blood. On now, as we look back at a fantastic year for direct men stuff, which we're going to be seeing again, <laughs> where there's nothing coming up. Oh! <laughs> this is disaster! Oh. oh, dude, this is one of the best epic failures fa failures failures we've witnessed going down. this is on peep show level of yeah. epic disasters this is in uh, level right here too oh man in between and peep show level 
Oh, could you imagine? <laughs> could you imagine? It's him. Of course. Oh, I love him. He's like, telling you, he is my hero. He is the one that has to fake it to make it all the time and never makes it. Yeah. Yeah. He's just faking it 100%. <laughs> he, can't, right. he can't do this, pain, man. No, no. It's, it's, it almost looked, if you didn't see his foot, which most people don't, it would be like he's having, a, he's trying to pass down or something. Yeah. Yeah. Or he's just drunk. <laughs> like, he's slurring his words and up. I love this. Yeah. Jesus. Yeah. It, oh, it reminded me of when I had a kidney infection one time. <sighs> yeah. And I had to drive buses. Like, it was, I, I could do anything. That's why I re religiously, you know, chug both water and cranberry juice. Like, hey, there's no tomorrow. Hey, man. Good way I, to do it. I don't want to get that ever again. Nope. You have one of those once and yeah. never again. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> August the town turned in fireplace sales. Oh, oh, oh so like the devil. Let's go out, bless you. That's not going back in again. You want some more glitter? Two grand that cost. I was going to give out some some awards, but uh, that's not going to happen. Look at me. Go and eat some coffee and uh, drink it. Uh, it's soup you can eat, but not so liquid. Ah. Uh. There. Move forward. Give me, give, give, give me a Michael, I'm not the Vietnam. Can I just take this no, off? No, leave it. Leave it for a minute. Michael, this doesn't feel like a treat. Look, all right, right here, that, that way. Take, take it off now. There, look, I've made you a helicopter landing pad. It's a small <laughs> eight. No, oh, man, it's, it's, it's big. Look, you get it from space, man. Michael, I don't want aliens to see this from space. It will be embarrassing. They will look down through their giant telescope and say, look at that idiot, he's got a baby H. I'd, I'd done it just to cheer up, like, you know, because the fireplace job was knackered and Apache Productions is probably gonna, gonna do in the pan like all the other companies which have started. Michael, that may very, very well be the case. I am happy. Now, that may very, very well be because I'm morphine. <laughs> oh, man, you should have put an M on your forehead. Why? Well, that's what you do with battlefield casualties there. You know, you, you put an M so that the doctors know they've had morphine. It's dangerous. It's not so a little helicopter can land on your forehead. <laughs> well, no, helicopter doesn't begin with M. Uh, I'd like that, it. though. I'd like that on your head. This rotor blade to cool you, cool you down like a hand fan <laughs> on your forehead. Uh, come on, you've definitely had morphine, haven't you? Yeah. Do you want some sugar puffs? Ah, oh, that'd be nice. We'll have right. sugar puffs. Ah. Something about the helicopters. Right. Little helicopters. Yeah, yeah. The helicopters. <laughs> the beginning of math. Begins with an M. Yeah. Oh, God. Oh, my God. That was amazing. It really flew off the rails towards the end. Oh, yeah. What are we talking about? This this show doesn't even come near the rails ever. No. It off the rails. It was never on the rails. It's taking its own path right there. Yeah. This is a trailblazing show. Just yeah, I think <laughs> that and even if there was rails, then Alan <laughs> would step on one of them and it would go through his foot like <laughs> this episode. I love him. I love him, man. He is he is what I need in this time of darkness. Alan Partridge <sighs> is life right yeah, now. 100%. I love that. Man, I just... You know what it is? I feel like I, I, I connect with his character. <laughs> more so than a lot of characters we've had on the channel before. Why you say that? I don't know, man. Because he just fakes it and does terrible. He is every Monday I've ever had in life. He <laughs> falls down every single branch and it, hits it. He's just a wrecking ball, dude. He's just fucking failure. All of them, please. Oh, and I, God. I just love him, man, because through all of it, he's just like, just fake it to make it. <laughs> and the cow fell on him. Oh, I almost died. That was one <laughs> of the best. That was one of the best moments <laughs> ever. But anyway, just great. This was awesome this one man. Yeah, man thanks for watching uh, y'all yes but before we leave you let us know if you like this setup better because i feel like this is a winner right here oh anything out of what was it uh day of the motion this is nice to have this in is, control this is probably going to be the way it's going forward <laughs> we don't have to worry about fucking ads every 15 seconds no. oh man college mcdonald's <laughs> oh my god if only they knew. We would yeah. have an ad play within an ad. An adception <laughs> kind of thing. It wasn't even in English. Oh, dude.
<laughs> blew my mind. Anyway, thanks for watching. For YouTube, there's so somewhere around to subscribe and watch another video for patreon thank you for your patronage and keeping the lights on dan what should they do after this you guys should unplug and probably do something amazing that's what yeah, I, would I would say so see you next time later guys you're right down there